Mike's whistle. Rex and Bert are two of the very small engines on the island of Sodor that work on the miniature railway near Hallsborough. And then, there's Mike, the red engine. He can be rather grumpy at times, and he doesn't much like pulling passengers either. <laughs> One morning, Thomas was laughing as he arrived at Hallsborough West to collect ballast stone for his branch line. Oh, what's so funny? <laughs> it's Doc! Have you heard his whistle this morning? His driver boiled an egg on it, and some of the egg got stuck. But don't laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that really you, Doug? I never knew you could boil an egg on a steam whistle. Neither did I, and I don't recommend it. All right, all right. Don't go on about it, Doug. <laughs> shouldn't make such horrible sounds. It's shocking. I'm going to whistle like that to everyone today. <laughs> if engines can't whistle properly, they shouldn't try. Then why do you? <laughs> I was talking about Duck. Unlike him, I have an excellent whistle. <laughs> if I had a whistle like yours, Mike... Yes? I'd lose it. Whistles are very important, Rex. The engines without whistles aren't proper engines at all. Mike's steam pressure went so high that his safety valve blew off. Oh! Oh, dear. Is Mike overheating again? Mr. Fergus Duncan is known as the small controller because he's in charge of the miniature railway. But he's not actually small. In fact, he's rather tall. I shall have to put you on lighter duties. I suggest you take the passenger train today. No, sir. Uh, please, sir. I'll be fine. <laughs> you know I prefer hauling goods to passengers. Sorry, Mike, but I can't have you blowing off steam like this. Bert shall take the goods train today, and you shall take passengers. Once your safety valve is back in order. Mike was still in a bad mood as he went to collect the passengers. Oh, oh it's oh, so lovely. Oh, it's so lovely. What a cute little steam engine. Blah, blah, blah. Lovely day. What a cute little steam engine. Isn't he sweet? Behave yourself, Mike. <laughs> and bird making fun of my whistle they're jealous they're jealous i'll show them i'll show them there are places along the line where boards are put up to let the engines know that they have to whistle but mike was blowing his whistle at everything Traveling back along the line, Mike's driver heard a funny noise. What's that? What's what? That funny sound. Don't you start. No. Listen. Something is rattling on your boiler. Never mind that. You can tighten up whatever it is when we get back. But then there was trouble. <sighs> Mike, the cow will move on in time. Oh, that cow 
is always wandering onto the traps, and she only makes me cross. Shoo, shoo, shoo! Go on! Right, this is the last straw. Get out of my way, you silly animal! I got so cross, and he whistled so hard that his whistle cap flew right off like a rocket. searched the field trying to find the whistle cap, but there was no sign of it. The passengers were getting impatient. Hurry up! Uh, really, uh, could you learn to pass, please? What are you looking for to be late and miss my connection? What's so important about a whistle anyway? Oh, I have to whistle at certain places along the line to let others know I'm coming. That's orders. Haven't you found my whistle yet? Oh, this won't do at all. We could be here until tomorrow morning. Oh, we'll have to whistle for you. Good idea. I can whistle. Ha, <laughs> 